Hello. Hey, this is Steve from <laughs> Dry Cleaners. Is Heather there? Um, yeah, this is she. I'm assuming you're calling because I, I'm supposed to pick it up tonight for an event. We actually had a slight situation with your dress that I need to talk to you about. I mean, it's really, it's really kind of a funny story. You know what? Let's just cut to the chase. Where is my dress? <laughs> well, a couple nights ago, I got really drunk. Okay, I don't care. What about my dress? This all has a point, ma'am, if you'll give me a second. I got really drunk, and apparently there's video from the security footage, but I tried on your dress. You what? You put my dress on. Yeah, but I was drunk, and I, I put... I don't care what you were. Why would you even begin to think that that was an okay thing to do, drunk or not? You know, I don't even really remember doing it. Uh, Did I just, you still have your job? I remember saying that I wanted to be the belle of the ball. My friends were joking about how, you know, I was beautiful and I wanted to put on a nice dress and prance around. So this is unbelievable. You're, are you ta- are you trying to tell me my dress is just ruined? Yeah, I passed out in your dress and I may have wet myself. <laughs> okay, so you pissed on my dress. N- no, I didn't. And- I didn't pee on your dress. Okay, what's the difference? Whether you peed on it or you pissed yourself while you were wearing it. Yeah, I peed in it. You have was... literally got to be the dumbest person I have ever talked to on this planet. I, th- I think that's a little rude, ma'am, don't you? I can be rude if I want to. It's not rude. It's calling you what you are, which is an idiot. But, ma'am, we've had it dry clean for you. That does not make this better. Ma'am. That does not make this better at all. There is a faint scent of urine, but I don't think anybody will be able to tell. No, oh, my God. You, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, you could just wear it at your event, and if you put enough perfume on, nobody will even know. I will go out and buy you a dress with my own money. This is an $800 dress. Oh, no wonder it felt so nice on my legs. I mean, I that... what, you're an ass. I'm just trying to compliment you on your fashion choice, ma'am. I don't want your fashion advice. You just pissed on my dress. So, I don't know if I have $800 to buy you a new dress, though. Well, you better find it. I was thinking maybe we go to Old Navy. They've got some... not just say that to me. But they have, look, they have great deals there. Like, you can get... I don't care if they have great deals. I bet you I could find you a dress there, and we could get you a performance fleece. Don't you laugh at me. Uh, Heather. You know what? I'm going to take you to small claims court. Heather, this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> no, you did not. Your sister Naomi set you up. She said that you've been nervous about some party that you've had to go to for like a couple <laughs> weeks now. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is on the radio. Great. Cause, so everybody should know my sister slept with her neighbor. <laughs> 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 You're evil. Yeah.